I got the cheap and easy for you, people. I'm talking about graphing horizontal and vertical lines. Mm-hmm. Let's look at this line. Is that horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. Let's name a couple of points on this line. <gasps> What's this point right here? This, that's the point zero, five. What about this point right here? That's the point three, five. Um, what's this point here? That's the point five, five. But wait, there's more. What's this point right here? That's the point minus three, five. But wait a minute. Do you have an observation? Can you see what I'm saying? Or did it fall on deaf eyes? What? You can't have deaf eyes. You also can't really see what I'm saying. Anyways, back here, man, my observation. The y value is always 5. You could say that y is equal to 5. Who, who, wait a minute. That's the graph of y is equal to 5. Because y is always 5. Let's go to this example. Oh, boy. How do you draw this one? y is equal to a minus 2. Well, that's what y is equal to minus 5. So you go to y is minus 2 right there. You draw the line. Yeah. Whoa. A little too far. Let's see if we can explore and extend those ideas. X is equal to 3. Is that here? No. Is that here? No. Is that here? No. That's here. So you do one of these. Yeah. A box. And a flower. That's not a flower. That's a weed. What kind of weed is that? It's a dandelion. And do you know why? Because this one's a dandy? No. Because these are the ones that you wish for. Thank you.